everybody good morning good afternoon good evening whatever time of day you're watching today sasha here today is thursday so you know what that means it's another episode of thirsty thursday and folks it is yet another soda that i wanted to try for you all and this has actually been out for a while but i was peaked when I saw a newspaper, well not a newspaper, Ugh, what am I talking about? When I saw an online article, article folks, about this soda or this new flavor of Coca-Cola. So we are looking at orange vanilla Coke. And let me tell you folks, this sounds like something that probably came out of the coca-cola freestyle machine however um with this i guess they just decided this would be the one that will branch off uh coca-cola with some you know weird or innovative flavors because y'all know with diet coke they have their like exotic line of flavors and we touched on those uh, especially the blueberry acai and the strawberry guava but now regular old coke is coming out with orange vanilla and there's some others like i believe georgia peach and california raspberry so mm. Maybe one day down the road, folks, I'd like to try those out as well. But right now, got my hands on this orange vanilla. Let's get the technicalities out of the way. We're looking at 240 calories for this 16, or excuse me, 20 ounce. <laughs> so used to having water, so I think it's 16. 20 ounce for 240 which is, you know, to be expected, the Sprite Limonade had 220. That was a light-colored soda. Mm. Coke, y'all yeah, know the deal. Coke is the dark-colored soda. Like, if I had to have a dark-colored soda, which I don't, but if I do every now and then, I'd gravitate towards cro uh, Coke. Croak. <laughs> okay, folks. So... Zero fat, 55 milligrams of sodium, 65 carbs of those, the 65 carbs are added sugars, zero protein, don't expect any cholesterol, fiber, saturated fat, trans fat, vitamin D, calcium, iron, or potassium, ingredients, carbonated water, HFCS, the caramel color, the Natural flavors, okay, well, somewhat of a step in the right direction. Phosphoric acid and caffeine. So it's just a little after two, I believe. So if I'm going to have it now, I'm going to have it with this caffeine. Uh, caffeine content is 57 milligrams for the uh, 20 ounce bottle. So folks. Uh, yeah, I heard good things about this flavor, so can't wait to try it. I love vanilla Coke, though. Like, if I had to get, if I got privy to, like, a dark colored soda, definitely go for a vanilla Coke. So I'm kind of excited to try this. And, you know, orange. Being a Florida girl, gotta appreciate the orange, so this should go swimmingly. Bottoms up, y'all. So, yeah. Definitely taste both the orange and vanilla component of the flavoring. Um, tastes like an orange creamsicle. A hint of orange creamsicle. But you still get that classic Coke taste. I don't know if it's because I had lunch earlier. And my taste buds are still kind of mingling over like the different food and the different 
flavor, you know, profiles that I had. Like the, it's got a nice trinity. It's like, okay, I could taste vanilla. Got a little bit of orange. Like, I don't know, the orange kind of comes and goes. But like I said, that might be skewed because I've had uh, lunch earlier and the vanilla and the Coke. Vanilla Coke, um, the reason why I like it so much is because like there's like a perfect harmony between vanilla and Coke. Like you could taste both of them um, pretty distinctively and I, they're, the vanilla is a flavor that I enjoy. So I really appreciated the vanilla Coke. Um, with this orange vanilla Coke, the orange kind of comes and goes in which, you know, it's not necessarily a bad thing. Earlier, like in some of my earlier videos where, where I scrutinize other companies for not having said flavor in their, you know, drink, if they, you know, plaster that on the label... It's like, okay, yeah, I do expect it, but sometimes the flavor never comes through. That's not the case with orange vanilla. I still taste orange, but it's not as predominant as vanilla. So what I'm thinking is they added the orange, like this is the vanilla Coke, but they added in orange at the last step or something. But let me hand down my verdict before I talk any further because I'm going to give away what I say. Even though I guess y'all can kind of... Yeah, y'all probably know what I'm going to rate this. But hey, let's go through the formality, shall we? So in the case of orange vanilla Coca-Cola, the newest flavor to debut from the Coca-Cola company. Out of my rating scale of good, okay, bad... I would rate this a good. This is a good, of course. Um, like I said before, like I was saying, I taste all three, which is great. Um, I guess to put this in comparison to last week's video with the Sprite, the Sprite, it, the Sprite took a back seat, which is like a big no-no. Because of they actually uh, took out some lemon juice. And it's like the Sprite tasted dull as heck, y'all. I Like, it was like, oh, uh, really? Like, all the other different flavors that Sprite usually tries to introduce, they use flavors. They don't use, um, they don't use juice. And it's probably for that reason why, you know, juice isn't really favored because... It takes a back seat to um, the Sprite. So, you know, when I pick up a Sprite product, I want to get some sort of backbone legacy, however you want to refer to it as, whenever they're introducing a new flavor into their line. So, Coca-Cola, they achieved this quite masterfully with their orange vanilla. Now, hey, I still, this isn't a great, this is a good, because if you're going to have orange vanilla, I kind of want a more consistent, more potent orange flavoring, and I probably could achieve that with, like, um, putting in a powder packet of two of true orange, crystallized orange, I don't have any on me, but, yeah, I mean, if anything, this should have like just as strong an orange flavor as it does vanilla as it does coca-cola base but this is still good this is still a good i mean i would definitely get it again fun fact i have got it again but this is my first time trying it it's because my first bottle was mysteriously gone hmm, i wonder who could have been responsible for that but you know, I ended up, at that time, like, that I got this bottle, or not this bottle, but my replacement bottle of orange vanilla Coca-Cola, 
um, these were popping up more frequently in my local market. I had to drive like a little out the way the first time and then I was setting up for when I was off on the month of matcha and I was coming back, you know, with a regular schedule. Boom, I have this to try in front of y'all. But first bottle disappeared and I was like really grouchy because I had to go back to the same store, which was further out the way. But then, um, as of today, now I see it at my local Walmart, my local Publix, so it's not really a big deal. And, um, yeah, I mean, if I, if I have a knack for this again, I would definitely get it. But, y'all know I love my light-colored sodas. I love my transparent sodas. If I had to dive bomb into soda, then... You know, for, I would pick a Sprite. I would pick a flavored Sprite first. But afterwards, then, okay, yeah, I'll go for a Coke. But there, like I said before, the California Raspberry and the Georgia Peach one. Um, two flavors that I am curious as to trying. And, you know, that will happen somewhere down the road. Just don't know when exactly. <laughs> Because <laughs> I already got some other stuff like lined up, y'all. So that'll take a back seat. But that's going to do it for this episode of Thirsty Thursday, y'all. I want to thank you all for joining me. Um, hope you had fun watching as I had fun making this video. And y'all know the drill. Any questions, comments, suggestions, or small talk, don't be a stranger. Leave it in my comment section below. Any and all are welcome. Greatly appreciated. Love to hear your thoughts and opinions on orange vanilla Coke. Um, have you had it before? Do you like it? Do you not like it? You know, just let me know. Is it hard to find in your area? Because, you know, like I just told y'all, it was at first, but now it's very easy to find, thankfully. Um... They also have, like, the skinny tall cans. I just, well, I just got this because I usually do 20 ounces. But they usually have, or they now have the skinny tall cans as well. Um, which are, like, 70, 80 cents. Like, pretty much around 80 cents, under a dollar. So, like, if anything, if I were craving this again, I'd get the tall can versus this bottle. Because I, yeah, I tend not to drink this much um, co cola or dark colored sodas. So, yeah, folks. That is going to do it. Um, I actually have a surprise video that I have um, ready to go tomorrow. So... You were probably wondering what it is. Just stay tuned. Find out. Um, and yeah. That's all I'll say on it. I won't give too much away. Because it wouldn't be fun if I. Talk too much about it. And bust the surprise. Early on. So. I'm going to close out this video. Take care folks. Make it a great day today and every day. And I will see you tomorrow for said surprise video. So yeah, take care. Bye now. <laughs>